The ghost king lot of life governs all life with breath and blood. The ghost king lot of sickness, any sickness is governed by a ghost. The ghost king lot of danger is in charge of dangerous acts of harm. The ghost king three eyes has three eyes. How do his three eyes look? They do not look like the heaven, heavenly eye in the five eyes and six penetrations. He has one horizontal one in the middle and two on the sides. The three eyes form a triangle. Have you seen such a thing? The ghost king four eyes. His four eyes form a square. They are not arranged like the five eyes of the Bodhisattvas. He looks especially strange so that people are afraid when he sees him. The Ghost King Five Eyes The Ghost King Chi Li Shu is in charge of fire in the south. The great Ghost King Chi Li Shu is in charge of large fires. The Ghost King Chi Li Shu is in the south, while farther south, while further farther south there is a mountain where the great ghost king Chi Li Shi is the ghost king. The ghost king No Cha is one of the kings of the four great heavenly kings. He is a Dharma protector, so although he belongs to the category of ghosts, he is not a ghost. That is why he is named the king No Cha. The great ghost king No Cha and another and other such great ghost kings as mentioned above. When we talked about small ghosts, we said that where there is a large ghost, there is a small ghost. With them were hundreds of thousands of minor ghost kings. A ghost king has their these ghost offspring, including children, grandchildren, and other relatives who dwelt throughout southern Jammu Vipa, each presiding over certain jurisdictions. Each ghost has the domain where they may exercise their power. Sutra, aided by the Buddha's awesome spiritual strength and the power of earth star Bodhisattva Mahasattva, all these ghost kings joined Lord Yama in the Chajachimsha heaven, and together they stood to one side. When Lord Yama knelt, placed his palms together, and said to the Buddha, Wound or not one, aided by the Buddha's awesome spiritual strength and the power of earth star Bodhisattva, I have been able to come here with all these ghost kings to join this great assembly in the Chayashrimsha heaven, which will be very much to our benefit. There is now a small doubt that I should like to express, and we hope the world honored one will be compassionate and resolve explain it. Commentary. Each person has his or her individual authority. These ghosts have their authority as ghosts. Aided by the Buddha's awesome spiritual strength and the psychic power of Earth Star Bodhisattva Mahasattva, all these ghost kings joined Lord Yama in the Chajachimsha heaven, the heaven of the 33, and together they stood to one side. Then Lord Yama knelt, placed his palms together, and said to the Buddha, Word or not one, aided by the Buddha's awesome spiritual strength and the power of Earth Star Bodhisattva, I, son of God Yama, have been able to come here with all these ghost kings and members of our retinue to join this great assembly in the Chajashrimsha heaven, which will be very much to our benefit. There is now a small doubt that I should like to express. May I have the privilege to ask the world honored one? Am I qualified to ask the world honored one? And we only hope the world honored one will be compassionate and resolve explain it, thus resolving my problem. Sutra. The Buddha told Lord Yama, I will answer any question you would like to ask at that time. Lord Yama looked respectfully at the world honored one, made obeisance, turned his head to acknowledge Earth's Bodhisattva, and then said to the Buddha, 
world on Earth one. I observed that Earth star body satellite uses hundreds of thousands of expedient devices to rescue beings who are suffering for their offenses within the six paths of rebirth. I see that he does so unstintingly. Without the least fatigue, although this great Bodhisattva uses his impossible spiritual penetrations to do such deeds, it doesn't take long for the beings whom he has helped in gaining release from retribution to fall into the evil paths again. World Honored One, since Earth Star Bodhisattva has such great inconceivable spiritual powers, why are beings not able to rely on him to stay on the good paths and to be freed once and for all? Please, World Honored One, explain that for us. Commentary The Buddha told Lord Yama, I will answer any question you would like to ask. Ask whatever you would like to ask. I will definitely give you a good answer. At that time, Lord Yama looked respectfully at the world honored one, made obeisance, turned his head to acknowledge Earth Star Bodhisattva since the Buddha is in front of him. He looked at the Buddha, then turned his head to look at Look at Earth Star Bodhisattva, a show of respect for Earth Star Bodhisattva. And then he said to the Buddha, World Honored One, I observe that Earth Star Bodhisattva uses hundreds of thousands of expedient devices, using different methods to rescue beings who are suffering for their offenses within the six paths of rebirth. The realm of gods, the realm of humans, the realm of asuras, the hells, the realm of hungry ghosts, and the realm of animals. I see that he does so unstintingly, without the least fatigue. He is not afraid of any hardship or weariness. Also, this great Bodhisattva uses his inconceivable spiritual penetrations to do such deeds. It doesn't take long for the beings whom he has helped in gaining release from retribution to fall into the evil paths again. World Honored One, since Earth Star Bodhisattva has such great inconceivable spiritual powers, why are beings not able to rely on him? Why do they not listen to his teachings? Why do they defy the rules? Why are they unable to cultivate by staying on the good paths? Why do they create offenses? And why are they not to be freed once and for all? Instead, they are entangled by comic obstructions. Please, won't honor one, explain that for us. Sutra The Buddha told Lord Yama, the beings of Jambudvipa have stubborn and obstinate natures. Difficult to tame, difficult to subdue, this great Bodhisattva continually rescues such beings throughout hundreds of thousands of ends, causing them to obtain liberation quickly. For those beings undergoing retributions, even in the worst destinies, the Bodhisattva applies the strength of expedience to extricate them from their own basic karmic conditions and lead them to understand the events of their past lives. But because beings of Jambu Fripa are so bound up by their own heavy bad habits, they keep revolving in and out of the various paths over and over as this Bodhisattva labors throughout many long ends to entirely effect their rescue and release. They are like a people who, in confusion, lose their way home and take a dangerous road by mistake. On that dangerous road are many yakshas, tigers, wolves, lions, serpents, and vipers. Those confused people are sure to be harmed very quickly on that dangerous path. Commentary The Buddha Shakyamuni told Lord Yama, The beings of southern Jambudvipa have stubborn and obstinate natures, difficult to tame, difficult to subdue. It is very difficult to make gentle these things, uh, these beings and subdue them so that they will observe the rules. This is not very easy. For instance, everyone nowadays says that observing rules is bad. Why? It is because they don't wish to observe the rules, so they say it is bad to observe the rules. 
Actually, without the ruler, the T square, which together means rules. In Chinese, one cannot draw a square or a circle. This great bodhisattva continually rescues such beings throughout hundreds of thousands of ants, causing them to obtain liberation quickly. Ghost kings and Lord Yama asked as to why living beings do not listen to earth star bodhisattva and follow his teachings, though he has such great spiritual powers. Why do they leave the evil paths and then come back down to the evil paths again for as long as billions of ants? This great bodhisattva repeatedly saves living beings of this sort so that they may become liberated soon. Due to their confusion and action for those types of beings undergoing retribution, seven in the worst destinies, the three evil realms for hell beings, hungry ghosts, and animals. The Bodhisattva applies the strength of experience to extricate them from their own basic karmic conditions and lead them to understand the events of their past lives. But because beings of Jambu Vipra are so bound up by their own heavy bad habits, the karma of their past lives is connected to this life, while the karma of this life is connected to future lives. This kind of karmic retribution is continuous throughout lifetimes, like a rope in a knot. This is what it means by means by beings bound up by their own heavy bad habits. What kind of bad habits are these? The foremost bad habit is sexual desire. All beings are the same. Every being has a problem that is foremost, something they have the worst time eliminating, and that is lust. Eliminating lust is even more difficult than climbing up to the sky. If you can subdue your lust so that women have no lust, then they see men when they see men, and men have no lust when they see women, then they have tamed their tiger. Free of afflictions, you have subdued your dragon. Afflictions and ignorance are just like a dragon that transforms endlessly. It develops without you realizing it. So first of all, and lust. This is where you can tell whether you have any cultivation, moral virtue, or skill. You can test yourself and know for yourself you have some skill if you have eliminated desire. If you have not ended your desire, then you are someone with outflow. So cultivating non-outflow refers to no lust. With lust, there is outflow. Without lust, there is no outflow. The second leading bad habit is greed. Why is there lust? It is because of greed, such as greed for a good feeling and greed for satisfying one's desire. The third leading bad habit is ignorance. What is ignorance? Some people are not necessarily smarter than others but they always feel that they are smarter than everyone else. They look down at everyone. They have to be number one wherever they are. The fourth leading bad habit is hatred towards everyone. If you are not good to me, then I will think of a way and kill you or think of other ways to seek revenge. The fifth leading bad habit is deceptiveness, cheating, and pretending. The sixth leading bad habit is lying. Deception involves pretending to be a good person when one is a mean person. That way people cannot tell. Lying is false speech. The seventh leading bad habit is blame. Blaming others for everyone of their obvious wrongdoings. They say, I would not have done that if he had not told me. I cannot be faulted for this. It is his problem, his fault. They shove the blame on others. The eighth leading bad habit is about Devon views. Instead of walking down proper paths, people with this habit always walk down improper paths. The ninth is crookedness. Instead of being straightforward, people with this habit do things that accuse others wrongly and in a twisted manner. The tenth leading bad habit is suing. 
people who enjoy filing baseless suits tell the judge that certain people are wrong. I'm going to sue him. They think of ways to accuse others wrongly. This is suing. These ten are the Suragama Sutra as the ten habits which will lead to the consequence of the six retributions. Due to these ten kinds of habits, living beings are said to be bounded by intense bad habits. They keep revolving in and out of the various paths over and over. They created all kinds of offenses and evil because of these ten kinds of evil karma. Hence, they got to transcend the three evil paths that then return. They revolve in and out of the three evil paths because they transcended them in the present life, but then entered them again in the next life. As this Bodhisattva earth store labors and works so hard throughout many long ends to entirely effect their rescue and release, saving all beings. For instance, they are like people who, in confusion, lose their way home and take a dangerous road by mistake. On that dangerous road are many yakshas, tigers, wolves, lions, serpents, and vipers. Yakshas represent skepticism in the five dawn servants. Skepticism means doubting everything because there is a lack of confidence. Tigers represent greed. Were we to tame our lust? then we would have tamed our tiger without having subdued lust. We have not subdued the tiger. What do wolves symbolize? Hatred. Wolves are mean, which applies to both wolves and hatred. Lions represent delusion and foolishness. Serpents and vipers represent arrogance, greed, hatred, delusion, arrogance, and doubt are the five dumb servants. Those confused people are sure to be harmed very quickly on that dangerous path, full of the five dawn servants of greed, hatred, delusion, arrogance, and doubt. They will be hurt by the five dawn servants in an instant in, in time. Thereby, they commit offenses that push them into the three evil paths. Sutra but then they meet a knowledgeable guide skilled in avoiding all the potential harm, including the toxins of the yakshas and others. This mentor begins to lead the travelers off the dangerous path, saying, Beware, everyone, what business has brought you onto this road? What kinds of special skills do you have to avoid all those dangers? Hearing that the confused travelers realize that they are on a dangerous path and turn back, attempting to escape, the kite guide then tells them to join hands, takes them by the hand, leads them off the dangerous path, and helps them avoid the deadly peril. When they reach a safe road, the travelers are relieved and calm down. Their guide then says to them, Take care, confused ones never to get back on that path again. Once on it, it is hard to get off. It can destroy a person's very nature and life. The travelers who had been lost confused express their deep gratitude and as they are about to part, the mentor says to them, If you see those dear to you and any other travelers, whether you know them personally or not, be they men or women, tell them that the dangers and evils on that, that path could destroy their very natures and lives. Do not allow them to unwittingly bring about their own deaths. Commentary But then they meet a knowledgeable guide, a good teacher. Who is he? He's Earth Star Bodhisattva. He is skilled in loss of magic because of his finely wondrous and inconceivable wisdom through spiritual powers. He is good at avoiding all the potential harm. What kind of harm? All the harms that tigers, wolves, lions, yakshas, and the like can do, including the toxins of the yakshas and others. Yakshas are speedy ghosts who are very evil. This mentor begins to lead the lost travelers off that dangerous path, saying, Beware, everyone. Hey guys, 
What business has brought you onto this road? Why are you on this dangerous road? What kinds of special skills do you have to avoid all those dangers? Do you have any spiritual powers that can subdue all the tigers, wolves, and lions on this road? Hearing that, the confused travelers are extremely shocked and realize that they are on a dangerous path and turn back, attempting to escape. Only then did they realize that they made a mistake and walked down the wrong road. They want to back up immediately and leave this path of danger. The kind guide, Earth Star Bodhisattva, then tells them to join hands, takes them by their hand, leads them off or pulls them off the dangerous path and helps them avoid the deadly peril. They get to avoid all the dangerous creatures such as tigers, wolves and lions, yakshas, serpents and vipers. When they leave the three evil paths and reach the safe, a safe road, the travelers are relieved and calm down. Their guide then says to them, the previously lost travelers Take care, confused ones, lost individuals, never to get back on that path again, your three evil paths. Once on it, it is hard to get off. People who enter the three evil paths do not live easily. It can destroy a person's very life. Someone walking on this path of danger will lose his life. The travelers who had been confused or lost express their deep gratitude. Having heard such instructions, from such a good teacher, Earth Star Bodhisattva, they are very grateful and think, this person is really very good to me, and as they are about to part, the mentor says to them, if you see those dear to you and to any other travelers, whether you know them personally or not, be they men or women, tell them that the dangers and evils on that path, that is the three evil paths could destroy their very natures and lives. Do not allow them to unwittingly bring about their own deaths by walking on to the three evil paths and suffer endlessly.